hello uh, greetings to everyone my dear young energetic and healthy minds i am professor sutwarya smalini chair in genetics first of all i would like to thank the organizer and the whole universe for this wonderful opportunity to share my thoughts with the whole world in this prestigious tedx platform cgc i have been working for past two and a half decades on most common prevalent uh, disorders health issues such as obesity hormonal imbalances thyroid insomnia gastrointestinal problem pcod infertility etc the billion dollar question what makes the pathophysiology of this condition it is uh, still unknown and being a genetist india is a vast nation with a diverse ethnicity region religion caste sub caste all these things it's a gold mine for genetic research here what happened when i started my career i was really taken aback shocked knowing the ignorance of people about the human physiology this is manifestation the impact of uh, our diet lifestyle hobbies on our genome so i thought let me us uh, bridge a gap between the community with that of the higher education that is the university i started a youtube channel and uh, narration then publishing books and writing articles in journals magazine so thereby i could educate and also organizing seminars workshop exhibition etc and my intention is to reach the last person in the society so uh we are virtually living in the world of artificial intelligence and machine learning no doubt these technological breakthroughs and innovation made our life very comfortable physically we are fantastic but in the inner engineering of body and mind is highly compromised so when we look back ladies and gentlemen when we do a retrospective analysis of our system what our forefathers or ancestors have developed the strong mindset is the key for the holistic health and they have developed this and nurtured through some traditions cultural practices and system as ma'am told joint family system is very prevalent in our country and that has boosted the youngsters and the children who are uh, been raised in this environment they must be having a very high score for emotional quotient adversity quotient spiritual quotient etc and even their social organization and bonding with others and resilience capacity all this are wonderful and i have brought up the in this situation and that has all my ethical values emotional quotient all these are well nurtured in uh, joint family system nowadays it is uh, even we can we could see this in country side and there's a old phrase in sanskrit you must be knowing vasudeva kutumbakam means one family one earth that means all organisms including microbes macrobes high cranial capacity human everyone are same for mother earth so karnataka is the place where i have come from there a group of saint called as a sharanas at 11th century itself they tried a kind of a meditation called as a linga puja through that they transformed humans to divine 11th century and they made a kind of a social movement not for bread or butter neither for power or position it is to elevate humans to divine so that is the greatest thing in our society so in this context well being or the healthy mindset is the key factor for holistic health according to who so the uh, physical health means it is not only physical well being it is also the mental social sexual and spiritual well being the root for all these things are healthy mindset so in this context what happened stress makes a remarkable changes in our system at molecular level by activating many genes many pathways you must be knowing human body is a mesmerizing amazing a wonderful piece 
in this universe and entire thing inside it is a chemical reaction everything is a chemical reaction we have lot many mac micro mac macro molecules dna rna protein carbohydrate all these things and everything is a mesmerizing so the activation of genes all these things are decided by the external stimulus that is nothing but a stressor earlier days the stressors were a predator it might be lion it might be tiger whatever but in this context it is the stressors are totally different it is a emi or the notification or the likes comments in the social media everything so stressors, stressors are completely changed here the stress is a through, uh, through evolutionary thing if you have seen the stress it is a defensive mechanism so for flight or fight for, for that particular situation the stress will be created what happen when there is a stress there is a endocrine gland in our brain that is called as a hypothalamus that will secrete a hormone called corticotropic uh, hormone in turn this hormone will activate the pituitary gland to release adrenocorticotropic hormone in turn the adrenocorticotropic hormone will act upon the adrenal gland which is present above our kidney a caplex structure that will release a cortisol cortisol is a demon now it is a stress hormone when there is a stress hormone immediately what happen there is a nervous system called as a sympathetic nervous system this will act activate in turn it causes high blood pressure increase blood glucose muscle tension and this is a, a kind of a defense mechanism for flight or fight mechanism so in order to combat or in order to counteract upon this there is another system called as a parasympathetic nervous system so always we should activate this parasympathetic nervous system to elevate to different level how to activate this there is a nerve called as a vagus nerve which present in it is a cranial nerve which starts from the cranium innervate every organ till toe so our ancestors they know how to tap right kind right way this vagus nerve you must be knowing stress always damages our dna and many other pathways it will also activate inflammatory pathway it will always suppress anti accident pathway thereby there is a increase in oxidative stress you must be knowing about this once there is oxidative stress in turn it will manifest all kind of psychosomatic disorder all the he health issues what we have it is rooted from our mindset so our forefathers ancestors they are so clever without their knowledge they know human physiology and also they knew how to right way to tap this vagus nerve thereby they knew how to coordinate body and mind the inner engineering what we talk now that has been done by our ancestors already and right kind of way they used to tap the vagus nerve once you tap the vagus nerve activate that will activate the parasympathetic nervous system it will activate our prefrontal cortex that is the actual human brain that is present in front it is called as a prefrontal cortex is a site of decision making analysis innovation everything fantastic if you are doing then you are activating your prefrontal cortex our human brain is classified into three prefrontal cortex it is a super brain superior ultimate it is the level in a different strata in a different phase that is what we say the divinity behind that is a limbic loop it is a web of all emotion all of us on this universe globe we stick on to that with all kind of emotion anger happy thirsty sexual urge everything and it is a web like thing and we can't come out from that when this is activated our actual human brain will completely shut down and we must be knowing how to activate our real brain or divine brain or the prefrontal cortex so here our ancestor has given lot of tips to activate this and by activating this we will be having a very good mood then enhanced gut health 
improved our sleep quality we will be relaxed chill always whatever may be we will be cool we know how to tackle the situation even it is a worst possible condition our prefrontal cortex will tell this is the right way you have to do so that's how everyone the achievers they knew this secret given by our ancestor always when there is a decision making they used to activate so what are the keys for this then the keys are a practice of yoga continuous practice then meditation a kind of breathing technique any breathing technique the main one is the pranayama when you do pranayama immediately your vagus nerve will be activated it will in turn activate your parasympathetic nervous system then your human brain will be activated then there are many naturopathy therapies such as a sun bathing mud bathing oil massage fasting hydrotherapy taking probiotics then relaxation there are so many music therapy there are these are all some of the things spiritual practices more than all these things there are three very very important point if anyone you follow this i can challenge with you that you will be a superhuman the first one is grounding means we should go for a nature walk or we should go for a walk with a bare foot thereby all our negative energy everything will be neutralized okay so and when you go for a nature walk your endorphin endorphin a kind of a neurotransmitter will be released it is a pain killer natural pain killer you will be relaxed you will be in a good mood so this is one very important thing then be hydrated have a plenty of water if you are really stressed just go and have a face wash with a cold water immediately your vagus nerve will be activated then you will be knowing what to do at that point though it is a very crucial you will be knowing what ha- what has to be done exactly at that point so another thing is good breathing always we breathe from chest it is not the right way of breathing we should breathe from the diaphragm that is the children small kids they do exact perfect type of breathing from the diaphragm always we are so lazy that we breathe from the chest it is a shallow breathing it is of no use when you do this deep breathing grounding good water hydration then you will be fantastic super human on this earth so other than that even humans every human have 50000 thoughts per day every one no matter whomever he may be but all these thoughts could be classified into three groups one is for relation always we worried about the relation whatever may be the relation then we worried about our health always health conscious then third one is the social status career money emi other part so everyone all 50000 thoughts run around these three things so we should reduce this 50000 thoughts into 20000 10000 that's what what we have seen the yogis in himalaya why they live 100 years 200 years 300 years breathing technique no thoughts and they know how to live and more than that always our brain will be always firing with the beta waves every time every time beta 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 in this beta everything will be shut down and we are burn out we don't know what to do all these things so in between every one hour go to alpha alpha means close your eyes take a deep breath inhale exhale that's you supposed to do before you take up interviews exams deep breathing have plenty of water everything will be calm fantastic so you can do perform fantastic any task given so alpha has to be there every one hour then apart from that there is a story telling lot many people spoke about that story telling makes you to trans condition a condition where you can give any instruction to your brain you will be like that you can give any instruction thinking that it is impossible but if you are in the theta definitely your subconscious mind will tap catch and it will make it will activate ras system ras reticular activating system in our brain that will make the compartment of your priority 
what you want it to be that gives you the clue this has to be your first step this will be your second step like that by doing all these things what's the final benefit in our brain there are neurotransmitters serotonin it is a mood hormone endorphin it is a pain killer dopamine it is a rewarding hormone oxytocin love hormone melatonin is a magic hormone this magic hormone is amazing if you activate tap your magic hormone melatonin you will be ever young 100 years you nobody could the gauge or the judge your age because it is a it releases lot of anti accident so how to tap all these things these are all the keys so by using this definitely our ancestors knew all this they knew they have inculcated all these things in our tradition cultural practices system in day to day activity with this i thank everyone and hope the gratitude journal donation all these things are the keys for this and i thank everyone not from my neurons because it is a totally commercial neither from my heart it is totally emotional very transient and i thank everyone from my navel through which i came to this world thank you